Hello and back again to another episode looking at Sumble Robot. From the last and first tutorial I did for Sumble Robot, I got several questions. The first question is how do you export the samples you recorded and import it into Bitwig and use it with Bitwig Studio? I'm gonna have a look at that. Then there was another question about how you can import existing samples if you have such. Can you also use Sumble Robot to create a sound and a sound set? with existing samples and that's also possible and I'm also going to show you how to do that. And the third question was how do you sample VSTs and we're going to also have a look at that. Starting out with the first thing, in the last tutorial I recorded a sound from my trusty old cock prophecy and you see now I did finish that recording which was fully automatic so we have now 61 notes here. Um, going to sound with its pad sound which was only playable monophonic so but we want to use that now in Bitwig Studio so what you can do you can go to export and there is currently no Bitwig Studio here in the list but I heard a little birdie tell me that this will sure will come in the future but for the time being you can use the good old sound font set which is coming from the old sound blaster cards but it's still working fine up to date so select that option select that option and simply store it anywhere you like i stored it here to my desktop and so if we close down here the sample robot uh, software and we start up Bitwig Studio, which is currently empty with a, a track with nothing on it. And I start here this sample set to the desktop. And what you can simply do is drag and drop it to that device area and automatically sampler will be loaded, which is a default device for these sample sets. And you can directly play the sound. And you can play it already polyphonic. What would be nice, you can tweak it a bit. For example, for a pad, we don't want to have velocity. So let's turn that down. And we want to have a little bit of release. And that's it. So we have a fully playable sound of our sample set here in Bitwig. So coming back to the second question, how can you import or can you use already existing samples into Sample Robot and create also a sound out of that? What you need to do is first you need to create a project. So let's go here. Let's just say, okay, I have a piano sound somewhere for as an example. And then you need also to create a layer into which you want to import that. Okay, let's do that with piano too, whatever. And what you now need to do you can say import audio files and you can give several options if you want to use the loops which are defined in the files if there are any you can say you want to copy from the root key which is encoded in a file or you can say detect it from the file names root key or also try to find out from the file names root key key or otherwise look into the file name or just start at c2 in that order you select the file so we have several options how sample robot tries to detect the correct key of your sample so let's go with that option which is most of the time the most helpful one so let's go to import and now we are ready to select uh, the sample so we can go to I have some old samples here. Let's, for example, okay, there is a very old sample set of the O1W of the 16 piano. And you see in that case, I here feel the notes encoded in the file name. So let's select all of the samples. Let's say import and it's already done. And as you see, sample robot detected here the keyboard range and you have all the samples in there and you can also so use then export to create a new file and use it in your dedicated sampler. So coming up to the third question, which is the most complex one. So the third question was, how can you use sample robot to sample VSTs? There are two options. If you have two computers, you can do it like that. So on your first computer, you run sample robot. You need an audio input device and you need an output device. 
So it's basically the same idea as you sample your external synthesizer. So the external synthesizer is now not a synthesizer, it's your computer running a host to which you can take anything you have as a host, like any door, like Bitwig, or you can have a dedicated VST host, load up your VST, and also on that second computer you need an audio interface which has an output here, so you connect the output to the input of the first computer, and you also connect the media output to your media input there. So you have the same setup as with a synthesizer, but you're using a second computer. So this is a little bit of a hassle to set up, but if you have these devices, it's pretty easy. Option two, looking at that, is basically the same, but it's running on one computer. The sample robot cannot load a VST, so you also need in that case a VST host, but you can't have the audio connection in hardware, so you need virtual connections. So you need a software which provides you a virtual audio out and in and also a virtual MIDI in and out. There are different solutions for Mac and also for Windows, which some are for free, some have you have to pay for. Also Sample Robot had a software to do that in the past, sadly not now, but as I said, there are solutions available. For example, for MIDI, I use Loop BE, which is for free, I think, with one channel. And if you want to have more, you have to pay a small amount and that's the software everybody should have I think and there are also solutions for audio if you search for audio cable or inter audio or something like that you will also find solutions and if you have done so you can start your host so this is the host which came once with a sample robot sadly not anymore but I think it's simply blokes bidule used inside because it looks like a low bidule and you can simply load up here your plugin connect media input to the plugin connect it to the output then you need to go here to change settings for the first stream and there you can say what are your settings. So here you need to set up what I showed in a previous slide. You want to have an output. Input is not important, just the output. So I have this virtual audio cable here, which is here also the one which once came with Sample Robot, sadly not anymore. But as I said, there are free solutions. You choose that to want to go out and as a medium the interface I select here the loop BE interface the first one so we already set with that one you can also have a test tone here to check it out in sample robot so let's switch over to sample robot start up that as well and in sample robot you need to make also the other settings so let's create a project here whatever a pad here another pad there okay you also what I showed before you can take your setup as you want to have it for example let's say we have uh, these notes you want to record and you need to also make the IO setting. So here you now select the other side of the virtual cable. So here we have the sample robot one is up here. So this is now the input coming from our virtual host here. And we need also to send out a MIDI channel. And this is also our virtual cable, which is, which is this internal MIDI cable. And this is basically what you need to have set up. So I can set up here a playable MIDI channel as well. So it sends it out to the other host. And so you see if I play now my keyboard, the data is sent from sample robot up here to this host and I get back here the audio input. So now I'm ready to record. I can record the sound set and it's now basically the same I showed in the first tutorial how to recur the external synthesizer. I hope this gave you some ideas what you can do with Sample Robot and answered some of your questions and if you're ready and sample some great sounds, make some funky music!